Hi everyone, welcome back to Herky the Cavalier's channel. I'm here today with Herky and Milton and wearing my Dog Vibes Only t-shirt that I'm obsessed with. If you haven't checked these out, I'll be linking the link down in the description box for you. But today I wanted to do a much needed recap of our video of best or top grooming tools and products that we use on a daily, weekly basis. I feel like I've done this video like two, almost three years ago and like I've sprinkled here and there some updates like throughout other videos but I just wanted to do another dedicated video on grooming for you to find all the relevant information in this video but I wanted to mention also that everything I mentioned in the previous video still stands I still use most of those products I'm still gonna re-mention them today but I did add some products in their grooming routine over the course of the past two, three years. This video is just for you to have all the information on hand. I'm gonna talk about eye care, ear care, teeth care, grooming, fur, nails, everything. And I'm also gonna discuss like a bit on each topic. So this might be a long video. I hope you're ready for it. If you're new to our channel, welcome. This is Herky. This is Milton. We're delighted to have you on our channel and welcome. So don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up this video and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time we upload a new video because YouTube's new algorithm is a bit funny and even if you are subscribed sometimes you won't see our video so make sure you hit that notification bell. So without further ado let's just hop into our top ear products. So in my first grooming video I did mention that I was using the Burt's Bees ear cleaner and I still do use it once in a while and I still have some of that one but I really do love the Kin and Kind. This is my second bottle and now they come in a plastic bottle. It used to come in glass so this is a bit more convenient for travels but what I like about Kin and Kind is that it's a like very natural products um, company. It has no chemicals, no alcohol, it's cruelty free, non-GMO. The ingredients are very simple. It's organic witch hazel, organic purified soap bark, wood extract, tea tree oil, and organic aloe. And that is it. So I really like the simple ingredients and what I like most about this is the dropper. So as you can see, you can put a lot of solution right in the dropper and this makes it super easy to clean their ears. Because yes, like the Burt's Bees, you can drop it in, but I love having some solution in the um, dropper and then dropping it directly in the ear canal. So this makes it just a bit more easier for me and I really enjoy that. And I just like the company and what they stand behind, like everything is 100% natural ingredients. Most of their things is USDA organic. Everything's mis mixed by hands. It's made in, in the US, so I really trust the brand in general and of course every product that I mentioned I will be linking it in the description box below for you to find them all very easily and you know it'll all be there <laughs> so even if your dog doesn't get ear infections I'm a strong believer personally that you should still do some ear cleanings once in a while just to prevent um, her keys five years old now she's never had an ear infection same with Milton and we do clean them once to twice a week and I do have a video on how we actually clean the ears and I'll be linking it up here for you. Okay, now let's talk about eyes. I've talked about this in the past, I think, about how Milton has really stinky eyes. Herky used to have stinky eyes and it sort of went away, so I was sort of expecting that to happen with Milton. We, we sort of have a cyclic thing with Herky where she didn't have them and then when she started teething, she had really bad tear stains and then it sort of went away. So I was expecting Milton to kind of be the same, but Milton's uh, tear stains, they did get better but the smell always stays. So she still has really stinky eyes and honestly, they stay um, like clean uh, and not stinky for like two days after the shower. On the daily basis, I would say, almost daily when I remember, to be honest, I will use um, a tear cleaner just like this. Like this is just to clean the eyes. I will use it on her key as well, but hers is really not that bad. Um, you just put, want to put this on a cotton round or some paper towel and then dab it gently around the ear, uh, around the eyes. Just make sure that um, it doesn't get too much in the eyes. And as far as the stinkiness goes, now this is completely natural uh, and normal. If you haven't seen our last Cav Mom Talks episode, we sat down with Dr. Michelle Dulake and she is a vet and she did explain to us that it's very normal and that the amount that Milton tears is just it's normal and it can be expected that it smells because it's just a humid area and there's a lot of dust and uh, impurities and just particles that can gather up in the um, wet tear stains hence making it um, grow some bacterial infection and stink. The only real way to treat it is through antibiotics. Now I don't know about you but I don't want to put my dogs on antibiotics just for the smell of something that is normal. So a lot of vets when you go will tell you that 
they could prescribe you some antibiotics and then you basically give your dog antibiotics in order for their tears to contain antibiotics and so when they tear they kill the antibiotics in the tear stains now i'm not a strong believer in that because you're basically giving your dog antibiotics and your dog is building an immunity to that antibiotic so when they do actually get sick you're just gonna have to go stronger and stronger with antibiotics i don't think it's something necessary for something natural so i don't personally do that no judgment if that's what you choose to do but what i found and I think it's one of you on YouTube that told me about it, is a silver shield spray. Now, this is an alternative to antibiotics. It's natural. It's basically a colloidal silver solution that you can use for, like, it's a skin healer, basically, and a protector. So it's uh, it has colloidal silver and essential oils. This one specifically is from Noble Pet Company. It fights infection just like synthetic antibiotics with, with no side effects. So this is great for treating, like, little skin infections. Like, it, it's great just as a skin healer in general. But someone said that using this, since it has anti biotic effects using it on cotton round and on her eyes would help and it really does help like obviously it's a natural um, ingredient so when you stop using it the smell does come back but same with antibiotics I've noticed that some of you did tell me that you you are on antibiotics and when you stop using it the smell comes back but using this when I use it religiously after she's had a bath and I use this every day it really does work to help the smell so I really highly recommend that you try something like this something a bit more natural instead of using antibiotics this is a great alternative okay so for teeth nothing has changed we are still doing uh, the teeth brushing we try to do it every day but truthfully it happens like two or three times a week to be honest we like to use an enzymatic toothpaste with just some toothbrushes that we find at the vet and although the girls are raw fed now and some people told us that when your dog is raw fed you don't need to brush their teeth we still do it just because the girls are used to it and they don't really fight it when we do it so I feel like it's just a good maintenance thing to have to be honest so it's up to you if you want to do it or not but we still uh, do the teeth brushing and we do give them bully sticks like a few times a week so that really helps sort of um, circulate the saliva in the mouth and naturally clean the mouth as well so any chewing activity and teeth brushing I highly recommend but if you're gonna give something to chew make sure you don't give them something too hard like the antler chews or like any sort of nylon chews because those can be very damaging to your dog's teeth so just be careful that it's not something too hard and it's something that your dog can digest for example your dog can't digest rawhide so just stay away from rawhide oh and this is really random but this is a little first aid spray that we like to keep on hand you can find this on amazon also it's a wound and skincare and it's just like whenever your dog has a little scratch or something milton had a little um a tiny bite uh, bleeding on her lip a few months ago and we used this on a cotton round just on it just to like clean it out and stuff so just in case that something happens we really like to have this okay and as far as nails you know from my previous video and you've seen this nail clipper forever if you've been on our channel then you've seen this nail clipper but lately I've seen that they changed the style and I wanted to buy this one just to try out this one is from Safari I really like that it has a security guard here you just put it like this and it stays this way and the features of this nail clipper that's really fun is that it has a stopper at the end so it really helps you not cut too much it's really different like you remember with this nail clipper you have to kind of hold your dog like this and clip this way whereas this one you're gonna clip sideways like this so it's a bit different but it's very comfortable like I don't feel nervous clipping their nails at all with this um, they do have clear nails so it makes it a bit easier to cut but if your dog has darker nails this is very useful because of the stopper it really prevents you from over cutting the nails I really like this nose and paw balm from Kin and Kind. There's a lot of different companies that do it, but again, I like this company because they're very simple ingredients, natural ingredients, and they're made in the US. This is great for summer and for winter, and it's to protect your dog's paw pads against like really harsh weathers like uh, hot cement and ice and snow and stuff like that. It just um, really helps the paws and their nose as well. In the winter, when it gets dry and they have crackly nose, you can apply this on their nose. The only drawback with the balm like this is that your dog might tend to want to lick it like her like Milton right now she wants to lick it every time I put this on her she does want to lick it but this is great like when you have crackly paws and crackly nose just to apply a balm for soothing purposes I really like this one okay so as far as soaps and shampoos now I have a lot that I use for different purposes so let me just run you through all our soaps um, this is 
paw soaps and specifically for paws but I'm sure you can use this like all over the body and what I like about this is that it's very convenient for traveling and it's very great for not wasting product we've used this one a lot it smells great this one smells like lavender and they're very like simple ingredients again that's what I love it only has like four or five ingredients and I love to use this especially in California in the summer when it gets really dirty on the roads and I don't want to clean them entirely this is great just to clean their paws and so you just zhuzh their paws two or three times like this it lathers up so well on the paws the lather is super luxurious i love it so that's great to keep their paws clean and again you don't waste like i feel like when i use this for example like i use so much soap that uh, it's just a lot of waste when i just want to clean their paws so jumping on to this shampoo, this is like my everyday, you know, like regular shampoo. This one is from Burt's Bees. Can you see a trend of like the brands that I like? This is uh, an itch soothing shampoo. This one also is 99.7% natural and I like that it has no sulfates, no fragrance, cruelty free. It's pH balanced for dogs. So this one just doesn't smell like anything. Like if you want your dog to smell nice after a bath, this is not it. This is just like my regular shampoo. It's very gentle and light. And this is one of my new favorite finds. It's a blueberry facial. Now you might have seen this trend online and stuff. And this is basically great for aromatherapy. It's great for exfoliating the face. And it's blueberry and vanilla flavored. This helps also remove the tear stains. And it's just great to whiten the fur around their face because it's a blue shampoo. And you're going to guess. I love to use this on their face, especially Milton, because it refreshes her face so well and it makes her face smell delicious and clean and I feel like it's so basically fresh and clean <laughs> after I use this. So I like to soap up their face. First thing when I, when I wet them, it's going to be the first part that's wet. I'm going to lather up their face and let it sit until their whole body is done. That way it really has a time to like kill the bacteria in her face and I rinse this last. And this other shampoo, again from Kin & Kind, is a deep clean dog shampoo. This is a charcoal shampoo. When there's a deep clean required, I like to use this charcoal shampoo. It just really um, takes care of a lot more uh, cleanliness. Like, it's what it says. It's a deep, deep clean shampoo, and this one smells really good. It has organic coconut oil, organic olive oil. It's moisturizing. It has an earthy and spicy fragrance, so it smells very like a manly shampoo, like a manly fragrance. But I really like it. It smells delicious. And I don't have it with me, but it's always good to have like a skunk shampoo on hand. Like I don't have it right now, but I will insert it and show it to you. It's great to have something like that in case of an emergency. Because trust me, when your dog gets sprayed by a skunk, it's not the time to go and buy dog shampoo and stuff like that. You really want to have it on hand. And... Herky did get sprayed by a skunk when she was like one and a half or something and we did try those home remedies with like baking soda and stuff and it really didn't work as well as the skunk off shampoo so I would really recommend just having that shampoo on hand in case of emergencies. And speaking of grooming also, you've seen this around. We love to have uh, this mud buster on hand just in case like you go on a walk, it's really dirty, you don't feel like even putting your dogs in the bath, you just fill this up with water, just two drops of shampoo and you just put their paws in it like this one two three and then you do that with all their paws and the water that's going to come out of here is black i'm telling you this is a godsend it's it works well it looks funny but it's really not expensive and it works well so i did talk about tick preventive medication last year i believe and how um like it's a good idea if you live in a wooden area and stuff but this year i think we're gonna try and not put the girls on um, tick medication and heartworm medication just because i've heard so many stories about like dogs getting sick and dogs even dying from those medications and i've personally taken the decision to not give pesticides orally or topically to my dogs and this year we're just going to be a bit more careful of where we take them we're not going to take them in heavily wooden areas and if we travel we're just going to make sure that we check them a bit more but i really don't like the idea of them ingesting a pesticide so this year i'm going to try to do something a bit more holistic I got this uh, tea and flick protection spray from Kin and Kind. This is basically an essential oil spray. So you spray your dog like everywhere before they go outside on a walk that you suspect they could get something either like mosquitoes, uh, ticks, whatever. You just spray this on them and it's supposed to shield them away. There's Kin and Kind and there's also the brand Noble Pet Company that does sprays like this. You can also find some 
recipes at home to make them just make sure that if you make them at home that you put them in a bottle like this that's not completely see-through or else it's gonna like um, deactivate the ingredients and it's gonna make it not as efficient like all those sprays are always in bottles like this so that the UV rays can't like alter the product but again like this is a super personal thing of course if you live in heavily wooden areas and heavily tick infested areas I would check with your vet just to make sure that like it's okay and I would do my own research please do your own research before deciding whether or not you're gonna put your dogs on tick medication this is just something I personally want to do like we don't live in an area that's particularly prone to ticks and we're pretty careful with where we take the dogs we usually take them mostly on like pavement and just grass so it's not that bad but please do your research before you take your decision okay and last but not least let's talk about their fur now this is a pretty big topic so there's a lot of accessories that come with this <laughs> you've seen before what I use as far as brushes I have these two this is to take off the undercoat. This is a, like a de-shedding tool. Uh, there's the Furminator, but this is Fergo Pet. It's less expensive. Um, this is great to get like all the undercoat out. I would only suggest doing this once a week because it can irritate the skin. This slicker brush is a godsend for taking out debris from their hair. Cavaliers have long hair, so they, they're like vacuums for like leaves and little branches and stuff like that when you go on walks so this is really really useful especially for burrs like you know those sticky balls oh my god like it's a nightmare when herky gets that on her fur like you always think you're gonna have to cut out her entire hair and you're gonna have to cut out so much but this always takes care of it it's great so i highly recommend this brush and lastly we like this brush for smoothing purposes this is just like this is like a massage brush this brush is technically for humans but I use them on the girls. They have specific bass brushes for dogs, but I just have this one and they absolutely love it. Last but not least, I'm gonna talk about a grooming kit because this is um, something new. I just got this, but I still think it's very necessary because honestly, we don't take the girls to the groomers because they hate it. Now, I know not every Cavalier owner can not go to the groomers because some have really, really long hair. But I just took the decision not to take Herky because she gets way too anxious at the groomers. So I just thought I would do it at home. Honestly, I haven't cut her fur in a very long time. So I thought I would just give it a try. Of course, I'm not going to like do anything extreme. But I got this kit and it's really inexpensive. You actually have a clipper with like four different clips on it. And you have the grooming comb here just to like separate the fur. And you have two types of scissors or they call them shears. This one is just like regular shears and then this one that I was particularly wanting is the, how do you call this, thinning shears. And this is just to like take off uh, some volume and you can just uh, do a thinning effect on the hair. So I haven't used it yet to be honest but I'm very very excited about this because I think I'm able to. Like I don't do anything, I don't want to do anything extreme on Herkin Milton so I think this will be very helpful. If you do want to see me use this kit on Herky or like how I'm going to use it, just let me know in the comments below. I'd be happy to do a video. Honestly, it's going to be my first time, so I can't guarantee you that I'll succeed. But hey, this is what we're here for. We're here to learn, you know. We're here to do it ourselves and, you know, trying to figure it out and make it work. But if I do it on Herky, honestly, I think I'm going to take off a bit of volume on her chest. I'm definitely going to take some volume off of this part here because she just looks like a bit... Too voluminous there so i hope you enjoyed this video there's a lot of products mentioned but again i will list everything you need to know in the description box below and of course if you have any questions leave them down below i'd love to hear your thoughts about everything so thank you so much for hanging out with us we love you so much and we'll see you soon bye